Hi, it's me again, Pete from Eco Fires and Stoves. Uh, today I want to talk about cassette stoves. They're wood burners that are different to your traditional freestanding ones that you see sitting in an opening. Um, customers have a few questions about these when they come in. Um, quite a lot of customers actually end up fitting them for a number of reasons. The main one is they fit in a lot of smaller openings. They do have other benefits as well. Um, which I'll go into a little bit uh, in a minute. I want to show you today uh, our most popular stove, in cassette stove, which is called the Barbus Unilux 640. It's a Dutch stove. Um, we've been selling them for over 10 years now. And we think we should give them um, a bit of praise now because customers are coming in 10 years later saying how much they still love it, how good it still is. Um, so I want to show you a few things about it. So this is the Barbus Unilux 640. Um, this is shown in a stone fireplace. Um, you can have this set just in a wall with a small frame or you can put it in a traditional fireplace like this. Very modern stove, but people will come in and they see this. It's obviously a very plain design. It's all about the big window. It's all about the flame picture, the bonfire going on. But there's also a lot to, about these stoves that make them particularly good at doing certain jobs. Um, one of the main things with this stove is it will run lower, happier than a lot of other stoves. That's because it's in a very enclosed environment. It keeps its core temperature, which means all the cleaning features like the air wash for the glass, they, they, they work properly. Um, so I just want to show you a couple of things about this stove. Excuse my... Uh, pestering dog she wants to put this fire on she's been sitting in front of this for the best part of 10 years now when it goes off she's not happy um, so I'll just ignore her for a minute so as you can see this is this is our best selling best ever selling um, cassette fire it's the highest quality we've ever done as well um, most people just love the look of it but the sign of its quality is these customers coming back after 10 years no issues whatsoever, it's still going strong. Um, so yeah, what I'm gonna show you is quickly how it's put together. Okay, so it's obviously built very, very thick steel, um, which straight away is a sign of quality. Things like the fire bricks, they're not made of um, vermiculite, they're not made of just normal fire clay. They're actually made out of concrete, steel, and, a, and a, like a webbing to keep it together. Um, so they, they just last and last. Um, these sort of things are important on a stove where you've got extreme temperatures going on. Um, you've got a simple to lift out grate in the bottom. That's just for emptying the ash. You can see that lifting up, you get a tool for it. Just to keep the airways clean, that's all you really have to do to um, maintenance at home. Just to keep it a little bit clear. Um, it's got a very good air wash on the glass, so it'll keep clean. Um, and I'm just going to load this up for you, and then I'll talk a little bit about how they work, how they give heat out. But um, I'm gonna get it loaded up so I can get it alight, so I can keep Lexi quiet. Okay, so it's now loaded, ready to go. Done my usual top-down lighting, which is a favorite of mine. Logs on the bottom, kindling on top. Um, with this stove, it's got a single control on it. That goes completely over to the right. That opens up all the correct air channels for the, to get the stove lit. I've got a couple of fire lighters under there. We're going to do, we'll, we'll light this and then hopefully I can show you in its full glory. So like any other stove, you light your kindling. Just leave the door slightly ajar just so that fire can get established. Whilst that's doing its thing, I'll tell you a quick thing about how they work or how they give heat out. It's, it, it's a question customers ask when they come in, they, look, they haven't considered one of these, they're looking at normal stoves and they understand that the box gets hot, the air rushes around the, the stove like your traditional stove and it gives warm air out and they say, well, how can this be as efficient? It's because with this stove, she, she knows the stove's lit now, so just let her sit in front of it. Lay down. With this stove, when the box gets hot, it naturally draws cold air at the bottom here 
it goes round the back of the stove and it comes out the top vents here as warm air. It's called a convection box. So what happens, it's like a normal radiator in your, in your house. Once it gets hot, cold air gets drawn towards it. The air follows through channels and then it comes out the top. It's no different with this. So the, the hotter it gets, the more that natural convection will take place. So that will actually take around half hour, 40 minutes before you really start to feel the benefits of the, the warm air. You get the radiant heat like any other fire, but you'll feel your room feel it, filling up with heat slowly and naturally. Okay, like I say, that takes about half hour, 40 minutes to, for you to start to feel that effect. So I'm gonna let that do that thing, do its thing. It will heat up within the box here. The glass will start to clean off nicely. And hopefully in about half an hour, that will be going um, full pelt. So now this isn't quite long enough. It's about 20 minutes into its light. It's just about got up to temperature. Um, we know that because uh, Lexi's lying down in front of it. Um, so the glass is almost clean, which means it's nearly up to temperature. Um, but we can now control it. It's now got enough heat in there. The flames are going enough for me to be able to show you how responsive this stove is. So I've just turned that up. So that'll gather heat now again. That, that's putting more air into the control box in all the right places to bring that temperature right up. Um, like I said, I didn't want it too hot for me at the moment because I'm standing so close to, to it and you get a lot of radiant heat from them. But once that's up to temperature, like I say, it's now drawing air underneath and it's coming out very gently as warm air into the room. Obviously, like any other stove, because you've got a glass front of the appliance here, you're not getting the heat loss back up the chimney. Um, these stoves are all eco design ready as well, which I must point out, which means it's, it's all ready for the 2022 regulations, as are all the stoves now in, in our showroom. Okay, so I'd say that's gathering pace again because it's letting in more air. It's just got a single control on this, but once this is up to temperature, where they become really efficient, these stoves, you can turn them right down and let them tick away burning very little fuel over the space of an hour. And that's all done with one little control here. There you go. Now you can see that's just a gentle rolling flame. It's all about reducing the amount of air going in, but allowing the air back over the top of the log to keep it burning. And that also puts the hot air down the glass, which keeps that clean. And like I say, these stoves just go on and on. They'll do that all day, every day. They're, they're built to last these stoves. And um, this is why it's, it's, mo it's so popular. And like I say, this one's probably done the equivalent of 10 years use in it. It's on all the time. Lexi's in front of it all the time. We've even called this fireplace Lexi, by the way, um, because she's been here for so long. She gets regular people coming in to see her, see how she is, how's Lexi. So we thought we might name the fireplace Lexi as well. <laughs> <laughs>